If you are an alternative person watching this video, send this to your friends, send this to your family. Make sure you are getting those good gifts for Christmas. Hey, what's up you guys? It's Ari, welcome back to my channel. Or if you are new here, hello and welcome to the channel. My name is Ari. Today, in spirit of, of Christmas and of holiday seasons, it's not just Christmas, and people give gifts for all sorts of holidays around this time of year, not just Christmas, but we're using Christmas because I celebrate Christmas and because most of us in the United States celebrate Christmas. But anyways, now that I've been politically correct, today we're going to be doing a Christmas list of different things that you can get the emo or scene or just alternative person in your life. I have 28 ideas and I tend to ramble, so I'm gonna try to rapid fire with you, but I'll be real, I might go on a few tangents. But because I know I'm gonna ramble, this is the end of the intro, and we're gonna hop right into the video. Number one is shoes. Not just any shoes. Converse, Vans, or Demonias. Is that how you say that? Demonias? If this person in your life is emo or seen, they are going to want Converse or Vans. And Converse and Vans can be kind of expensive. Like, I'll be real, most people I know, they just buy Converse and, and Vans. I cannot afford Converse and Vans, but for like a teenager who may not have that much money, a brand new pair of Converse or Vans, it's gonna make their Christmas. But you have to know, are they a Converse emo or a Vans emo? There is a divide. Personally, I'm a Converse emo, but I do have a pair of Vans. They're actually not Vans. I got them at Ross, they're fake Vans. And Demonias, a lot of people in the alternative scene love Demonias a lot. Find out what type of shoes they want. If you can find knee-high Converse or platform demonias, like the person in your life will love those. Next up is vinyls. For some reason in like the past couple years, vinyls have made like a huge comeback. People are buying record players and they're buying vinyls. And the thing about buying a vinyl record is not only is it a cool thing to have and it's something that people collect, they're also great for like decorating, like wall art hanging up either the vinyl itself if there's cool art on the vinyl or just the like vinyl case that it comes in so that's kind of a double whammy there also cds not a lot of people have cds we mostly just use spotify nowadays but i personally collect cds and i have some signed cds so if the person that you're thinking of is into cds or they collect cds get a few CDs for them. This one's a little bit expensive, but concert tickets. Obviously, if one of their favorite bands is going on tour near you, just buying them concert tickets is a great Christmas present. If concert tickets alone is a little bit above your budget, look for local shows. Some people like myself, I love concerts, even if I have never heard the band before. If you invite me to a concert, I will go to a concert. So maybe check local shows in your area. Obviously be mindful of COVID and lots of different venues have different rules about vaccines and masks and stuff. So keep that in mind, but maybe just tickets to a local show that you think they might enjoy. Or if they've already got tickets to somewhere or you're already planning on getting tickets to go see someone, Splurge on a VIP package, get a backstage pass, get a VIP, get a meet and greet. That'll just make the show 10 times better. Next up, kind of an obvious one, is band merch. Usually this falls under t-shirts, but something that's nice to give at Christmas would be like a sweatshirt or a hoodie, just because they're warmer for the weather. They're also a little bit more expensive, so the person you're buying stuff for, they might already, might already have band t-shirts and band merch, but they might not have a band hoodie. Another cool idea to do with band merch is to get them something practical. A lot of bands have like earbuds that are branded or headphones with their logo on them. They'll do like key rings. They even have air fresheners for some bands. They also have grinders, but that's like, should, should I be promoting buying people paraphernalia on my channel? Anyways, but finding merchandise that you know they're gonna use every day. And quick plug right here, if you are looking for Christmassy merch, uh, I'm not a band, but I'm a content creator, and we have merch for this Christmas. It comes in the normal red and green. Mine should be here soon. I would have worn it in the video, but uh, my merchandiser is still printing it and everything, so I don't have it yet, which is why I'm wearing this, actually. This is Motionless and White merch, and I thought the red would go with the green and the Christmas vibe. But yes, it comes in this red and green, like, classic Christmas vibe, but then it also comes in the neon, because I really like neon colors, and I feel like the emo type people, like the more mellow, like emo, grunge, maybe goth vibes, 
would be the OG Christmas colors, but then the scene kids can like rock out with the neon. That was kind of my goal there. If you're interested in those, make sure to order them before Christmas so that they get here before Christmas because Teespring around the holidays can get a little backed up. Anyway, moving on from that, is getting them some discontinued items, clothing items. So there's brands like Drop Dead Clothing by Ollie Sykes, Anthem Made by Kellen Quinn. Ashley Purdy had a really cool fashion line, but it's really hard to find stuff from him. Uh, there's Avril Lavigne's clothing line, which for some reason I can't remember the name of right now. Also brands like Cupcake Cult, which I love. But it's cool because it's like a step back. And this is something especially for like scene kids, either getting like old van merch from like a 2007 tour. eBay is a great place to look for that kind of stuff. But look on Mercari, Poshmark, eBay, different like thrift or reselling websites. And you can find these brands like Cupcake Cult. You can find old drop dead stuff, not the new drop dead stuff or the new anthem made, that kind of stuff, but find the old, the OG drop dead shirts because that's the kind of stuff that's gonna make a scene kid so happy. It's stuff that was actually made between like 2005 and 2015. Maybe 2015 is too recent, but you know what I mean. Next up is candy making stuff. Not candy like the food, but candy like I'm wearing some. These bracelets, these bracelets right here, they're called candy. They're made with these little beads. They're called, what are these beads called? Anyway though, getting them a pack of beads. I have one of the big ones you can get at Walmart for like 10 bucks. It's like this big and it has all the colors of the rainbow in it. Getting them that, getting them the string to use to make candy, the stretchy string. Also something that people love with candy is to make perler bead little charms with it. So get them perler beads or knock off perler beads. The type of stuff that you can like you put it on a little pegboard and make a design and then you iron it. Perler beads are a great thing to give to somebody who likes making candy. Also letter beads. Letter beads run out so fast and you always run out of all the letters that you need. So getting them just little candy beads with the letters on them, they'll appreciate that. Next up, headphones and earbuds, okay? Emo kids, alternative kids, alternative people, most of them, maybe not some of the ones on TikTok, but most of the alternative people are alternative mainly because they got into an alternative genre of music and that's what propelled their style. Music is very important to emo people, scene people, alternative people in general. So getting them a nice pair of headphones or earbuds will mean a lot. This one's a little bit random, but Sharpies, okay? Sharpies are just... I, everybody loves Sharpies, you know? And Sharpies can be kind of expensive. Not super expensive, I guess, for a Christmas present, but a little bit expensive just for every day. Emo kids will draw on everything with Sharpies. We'll be writing it all over our notebooks, all over our shoes, all over our Converse we'll be writing in Sharpie, all over ourselves. I feel like for some reason emo kids and scene kids just love writing on our hands just all the time. And a lot of alternative people are also super artistic, so if they like drawing with markers or Sharpies, Sharpies is a great cheap gift. Next up is magazines. Magazines like Alt Press or like Rock Sound. These are great if you want to get them a, a subscription to them, not only because then they're getting it every month, and so it's kind of like the gift that keeps on giving, they're getting it all year. And then they're getting like all the updated news about like what bands are releasing what, and little behind the scenes things from different bands and about tours and the making of different albums. But they also have posters in them, which is the important part. Something that I'll do because I can't afford to get a, a subscription of them is you can go on eBay, Poshmark, Mercari, any of these like secondhand sites. People will sell them in big lots. People who have like had these subscriptions, they'll sell like 10 or 20 of them for a certain amount of money. And what I like to do is I buy those just so that I can take all the posters out of them. So that's, if you don't wanna like get them a full on subscription to a magazine, just buy a big lot of them, give them to them. They're still fun to read. It's still interesting, even if it's not stuff that that's happening like this year. It's still cool to read articles about your favorite bands, even if it's from a few years ago. Plus, they can take all the posters out. On the topic of posters, posters, flags, tapestries. People that nowadays really love tapestries. And I couldn't tell you why, but now I just feel like I need a tapestry in my life now that everyone's getting them. A lot of bands have flags you can get that have like their logo on them or whatever. Some bands even have flags that's just like a photo of the band, but it's on a huge banner, which I think is really cool. Also just tapestries in general, something that you think might like fit their vibe. A lot of people do like psychedelic tapestries, but there's also more like naturey ones or ones that just have cool patterns. And these are great because they'll put them up in their room and they'll see it every day. It's something that they'll actually use and will be up in their room year round. Another great place 
actually to find posters and tapestries and like flags is Redbubble. Redbubble, people can upload any image they want onto anything. So if you just go to Redbubble and search like their favorite band and then click on tapestries or click on posters, I'm sure you'll find some really unique ones. Eyeliner. Alternative people love eyeliner but we go through eyeliner really fast. And I personally, I just buy cheap eyeliner because I know I'm gonna go through it fast. So buying somebody a nice eyeliner, either a really nice liquid eyeliner, maybe one that doesn't smudge, one that doesn't kind of crumble off, because for some reason, liquid eyeliner likes to crumble. Just a nice high quality liquid eyeliner or just a couple eyeliners. Also colored eyeliner is really cool. White eyeliner, red eyeliner. For the people that like to do really artistic makeup, you could do different colors of eyeliner for them because gift cards kind of obvious but hey sometimes it's hard to shop for people you don't know what they like you don't know what they don't like but getting them a gift card to hot topic a spencer's claire's claire's has like tutus they've got tights they've got fingerless gloves they've got some like candy-esque jewelry and they've got chokers over there so for the scene kid claire's is a great place too also hair dye scene kids emo kids I'm, i keep repeating myself and saying scene kids and emo kids all people we love hair dye. I personally currently own hair dye in every color of the rainbow and black. And I also have bleach. If they've been mentioning wanting to dye their hair or you know that they have a Pinterest full of different hair colors that they're looking to do, get them hair dye. Or if it's somebody who you know already has a bunch of hair dye, get them a box of bleach. Personally, my favorite bleach is the Colorista All Over Bleach. It's like really cheap and it's like not a good brand of hair dye. Their hair dye sucks, but for some reason their bleach is really good. If you're a parent or just someone who like doesn't really know about hair dye, Arctic Fox is a great brand. Uh, there has been like controversy around them, so if you're worried about that, I don't know, go on like Twitter or something and search it up. Arctic Fox is my preferred brand. I think that it stays pretty well, easy to apply, and it also washes out. If you want to get it out of your hair to re-dye it, it washes out well once you're trying to get it out. Iro Iro or Iro Iro, I don't know how to pronounce it. Um, I'll link these websites down below, but that's my second favorite brand. They're really good. And on the topic of hair, hair care stuff, because you know that we are flat ironing our hair, we are cutting it with shaving razors, we are bleaching the hell out of it. So getting a really nice deep conditioner or deep conditioning treatment will be much appreciated by any person who's been bleaching and dyeing their hair for years. Also, heat protectant spray. If they don't already have heat protecting spray, that's a good like stocking stuffer because you should be using heat protectant on your hair if you are flat ironing your hair at all, especially if you're flat ironing your hair every day. Next up is a Spotify or Apple Music membership. Is, the, is it membership? It's not really a membership, but like Spotify premium, Apple, music premium. I don't know how Apple Music works. Whether they use like YouTube, Apple Music, Spotify, whatever they use to stream music, if they don't already have the premium version, it is an amazing gift. You can get it for like three months at a time, I think. So you could get them a year subscription, three months, or just a month if you don't have that much money. But I got Spotify premium, I got the free trial and I never went back, which is the point of the free trial. And I completely, completely just fell for it. But it is so nice. This is not an ad for Spotify Premium. Spotify, if you want to sponsor me, hit me up. But like, my Spotify Premium is worth every single penny that I pay for it. It's well worth the money. Next one is stuffies. And like, yeah, you can get them like Squishmallows or just like random stuffed animals. But there are so many cute like gore stuffies and alt stuffies. Um, like Gloomy Bears, super popular, kind of expensive. They are so cute though, and Gloomy Bear is such a cute brand, but there's also a lot of independent people like on Etsy, and I'm sure you could find small businesses on TikTok as well that do the same thing, that like make these stuffed animals. I wish I could explain it better, and I have one somewhere in here, but I don't know where she is. But my friend got me one from a small business, and what they did is they took like a pink sheep stuffy that was super cute, and then they added like horns to her and like, a like little upside down cross and like all different things like safety pins. So looking up like gore stuffies or alternative stuffed animals, like that kind of stuff and supporting small businesses that like alter these stuffed animals to make them really cool and edgy. I think that's cool because you're supporting a small business and you're getting a cute stuffed animal. Another thing about hair is a hair straightener. I personally moved out a couple months ago and I do not have a hair straightener. I love straightening my hair. Now that I've cut it, I don't really straighten it because it doesn't need to be straightened because it's like that long. But when I had long hair and I moved out, I realized that I had been using my parents' hair straightener my whole life. And now I moved out and I don't have a hair straightener. So a hair straightener is something great to give maybe a teenager who's going to move out soon or has just moved out 
or just give it to them now so that when they move out they have it and for the people that cannot dye their hair or don't want to damage their hair hair chalk temporary hair dye i don't mean like temporary temporary like arctic fox and the stuff i mentioned early that's temporary but that can stay in your hair for a good few months if you know how to take care of it but something like hair chalk or even just the spray and washout kind is great for somebody who isn't allowed to dye their hair also hair extensions and wigs you can get little clip-in extensions that have cool designs on them or cool colors that you can just hide underneath your hair to add like a little pop of color or like i personally have vp fashion extensions that are like 22 inches long and those are super super nice they're human hair but any kind of hair extensions for somebody that might want to add length to their hair a lot of scene kids like to add length by having kind of like a short shaggy cut but then having those extensions that go down also just wigs there's so many great wig companies and small businesses like through depop i'll link one of them down below i believe it's called hazel wigs that some of my instagram friends really love their stuff you can also go on etsy and search emo slash scene wigs and there's some great little creators on there that make really cool wigs so that's another thing for someone who doesn't want to kill their hair by dyeing it all different colors buy them a wig something that my dad did for me for christmas uh last year i believe was i had a bunch of gifts and they were super heavy and i was super confused because we don't splurge for christmas like we don't spend a lot of money in my family but i had all of these heavy boxes and when i opened them up it was just a box of monsters and a box of peace tea and a box of arizona peace tea arizona and monsters for some reason is a scene kid staple i don't know why it just kind of got looped into the culture somehow but if your friend or your kid or whoever you're buying for loves monster or loves really any type of drink whether it's like fago insane clown posse fans where you at or like red bull rockstar anything like that just find a cardboard box go to the store and just fill it with different flavors of that drink i got a bunch of different monster flavors a bunch of different peace teas he even found peace tea flavors that i didn't even know existed somehow i don't know where he went that i wouldn't have already gone to look for peace tea but that was really cool and it's also pretty cheap so that's something cool either for a stocking stuffer or for just a normal gift just get a little bunch of monsters this one's random but fake blood you can never get enough fake blood okay not only is it cool for artistic projects people who like doing special effects makeup or people who just like wearing fake blood because why not another thing around appearance is cool contact lenses okay getting like sclera lenses which cover your whole eye and they can make your whole eye white or your whole eye black those are hard to put in and hard to care for so maybe give that to someone who has experience with contact lenses but even just getting red lenses or snake eye lenses stuff like that it kind of just adds a little just one more cool outlandish thing to an emo scene alternative person's look for somebody who is old enough or if they have chill parents a piercing or tattoo shop gift card Piercings and tattoos are expensive, but piercings and tattoos are amazing. People in the alternative community, it's it, it's a staple. It's a staple, piercings and tattoos. So getting somebody a gift card to a piercing or tattoo studio or planning, scheduling them a piercing or tattoo that you know they've been wanting would be a really meaningful gift to someone. Also, just piercing jewelry. The thing about getting piercing jewelry is you have to know the gauge of their piercings. For example, I asked my sister, for Christmas if she could maybe get me something for my septum ring because I want a silver septum um, but you can't just go and buy one you, have, you gotta know so you might have to ask them or just snoop around or just look at them and guess maybe don't guess maybe ask them uh, but different piercings have different gauges for example the gauges in my ears these are 2 G's this earring is a 20 G this is a 16G and I had a 16G in my eyebrow before that got infected and I had to take it out. So make sure you know what type of piercing it is so you're getting jewelry that's like the correct length for it. It's not like way too long or way too short because that'll irritate the piercing. But also make sure you know the gauge of their piercing. All right, the video is almost over, but we have got a couple more, one of them which is chokers. And I actually didn't wear this on purpose for this video, but I am going to mention this. Claire's and Icing have a lot of really cute like simple chokers, like tattoo chokers or just like little cloth chokers. Spencer's has a lot of really good chokers, more than Hot Topic does, that are like thicker leather with like metal fastenings and stuff on them. Those, the little, the ones with like the hoop things on them. I don't really like those ones, but other people do. My personal favorite place to get chokers is from the brand Not Candy, and I'm not being paid to say this, but this is a Not Candy choker, and they are such good quality. I have a whole video actually showing 
uh, most, if not all, of my Not Candy Chokers. So I'll link that in the description. But this one is my absolute favorite. It's super heavy. This thing has to weigh like five pounds. But these are like real metal and they're actually sharp. Like if I was like walking home alone or something and I was afraid for my life because there was some like stalker coming after me, I could take this off, put it on my hand and go bah, 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 and they would get hurt. This could draw blood. But Not Candy, they're a great small business. Everything is handmade. And they also have some spicier items if if you want that. I'm asexual. But yeah, this is by them. And I'll link my video with all of their other chokers in it down below if you want to see what their other stuff is. But I'll link their shop down below as well. Another thing you could do for them is you can get them a cameo. Cameo, it's that website where you can like pay famous people to like send you a video message. So maybe try and see if like their favorite band or their favorite singer or artist or even their favorite YouTuber has a cameo and you can like ask them for a cameo. Well, you don't ask them, you pay them, but like you could pay them for a cameo and then surprise your loved one with a video from their favorite YouTuber or their favorite singer or whoever, like giving them a little video message. I think that's really cool. I got a cameo for my 16th birthday from a YouTuber that I really love and my ex-girlfriend got it for me and I still have it saved on my phone. It's meaningful, so that's a really cool gift also. All right, we are down to the last three. Number three, well, these aren't ranked in any way, but number three is a nice black lipstick, okay? Do you know how many people I've talked to who just use black eyeliner as lipstick? That's what I do because it is so hard to find a good black lipstick. Black lipstick, it gets everywhere, it smudges, and the second that you start talking or eating or drinking anything, it starts rubbing off. So getting them a really nice black lipstick that stays on and actually looks black and doesn't look blue or green, that will be much appreciated. Another one is getting them a gift card to like a manicure or like to get their nails done. I don't do my nails because I bite them and because I can't have them done at work, but getting them a nice set of like acrylic nails, getting them like those, uh, what are they called? like the claw nails that are pointy on the end. Like getting them an appointment to do that. Go and get like black and red claw nails. I just, so many people have the cutest nails in the alternative community and nails are expensive. I don't know from personal experience, but I know because my family, girls in my family do it and they get their nails done and people like friends get their nails done. It's so expensive. It's actually appalling to me why getting your nails done is so expensive. I don't get it, but I know that it is expensive. So if the person in your life likes to have like really cool, like done up nails, give them a gift card or an appointment to get some nice nails done. And the last one is a phone case. Yes, they probably already have a phone case, but do they have a phone case of their favorite band? No, they have a phone case of their favorite TV show. Mm, probably not. Do they have a phone case of their favorite YouTuber? Also, no. This is another one where you can look it up on like Amazon or whatever and try to find whatever like favorite interest of theirs that you want to put on the phone case. But it's another one where you can go to Redbubble and search on Redbubble for a phone case of their interest. And chances are someone's already made it. Their favorite YouTuber, someone's already made a phone case out of it. Favorite band, someone's already made a phone case out of it. What I like to do personally and something that people have done for me in the past with notebooks, like custom notebooks that I would love to do on a phone case is kind of making a little digital collage of all their favorite band members, all their favorite book characters, their favorite YouTubers, um, or finding like really cool fan art of whatever they're a fan of. And then you can just upload it on Redbubble yourself. It's like super easy. You just like click create, phone case, upload the image, and then it's like done. And then you can make them a custom one that has like all their special things on it. You could also do it with like pictures of them or their friends or their pets or whatever. But I think it's like a pretty personal gift. That's pretty cool. And Redbubble has like iPhone stuff and Android stuff. So depending on what kind of phone they have. All right, that is the end of the video. I know this is gonna be a long video. I tried not to ramble, but I had a lot of ideas. I had 28 ideas and I wanted to get them out there. If you are an alternative person watching this video, send this to your friends, send this to your family. Make sure you are getting those good gifts for Christmas because let's be honest, Christmas isn't about getting gifts. But that's kind of the best part of Christmas. Like, let's be honest, let's be honest. Christmas is great because you get presents, okay? I'm not gonna deny it. I love getting presents. I love giving presents, actually. Watching other people open the presents I got them, it's like my favorite part of Christmas. But my second favorite part of Christmas, it's getting gifts, okay? I like getting presents. We all like getting presents. So send this to the people in your life if you wanna give them a little hinty hint on what you might like for Christmas. And again, check out the Christmas merch. Get it now so it will arrive by Christmas or before Christmas as the holiday season makes a lot of shipping take like 
way longer than it should just in general if you're ordering anything online for christmas please go order it today like right after you watch this because otherwise it's going to take like five weeks and it's not going to be here on time especially with all the supply chain stuff happening this year comment down below the best christmas present that you've ever got i was going to say comment down below what you want for christmas but no we're not going to be thinking about what we want we're going to be thinking of gratitude because that's what christmas is about not getting presents but also getting presents but comment the best christmas gift you have ever got i'll be honest the Monsters was probably one of my favorite Christmas gifts I've ever got just because I just knew that my dad, you know, my dad saw me walking to the gas station to buy one every day and he was like, I'll just buy him a box of Monsters and that way he doesn't have to go spend money on it. I just think that was really cute and it was also nice because my dad does not approve of me drinking Monster because it is not good for you and because caffeine gives me anxiety, but he bought it for me anyway because he knew that I really wanted it, even though it wasn't his favorite thing. Same thing with my septum piercing actually. If you're a parent and you're kind of strict but you but you're ready to like let your kid get a nose piercing or let them get gauges or just something small like that it'll be a really meaningful gift to give them a gift card or piercing jewelry or whatever for that piercing that is all that i have to say if you did like this video please leave a like on it so that i know and that way i can make more alternative emo scene themed content for you guys that you'll actually like. I will link a playlist down below of all of my videos that are like alternatively themed. I have different like outfit videos, music related videos, stuff like that. So that'll be in the description if you want to check out my other videos around these kind of topics. But for now, that is all. Happy holidays and Merry Christmas and Merry whatever you're celebrating. I love you guys and peace out. I will see you next week with another video. Fly! Whoa!